I find most troubling with the party right now, and I, and I know the Republicans did it, but I don't give a damn that the Republicans did it. Uh, the Republicans sat on their hands on many issues over an eight-year period and basically mm -hmm. said, let them try and get it done, and if they can, great, and if they can't, we're so far apart. Uh, you know, let's just coast through right. and see where it goes. Talk to me a little bit about. Let's go from the from the big the big on down. Talk to me a little bit about uh, your Democrat Party, Scott. What what, what your thoughts are? Um, what do you think needs to be done? But, but I got involved with the Democratic Party formally in 1972, so I've seen highs and lows. I think the Democratic Party right now is at as at a low ebb. And I think that it's because of lack of leadership. I think it's because of lack of ideas. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, the Democratic Party uh, lost, literally lost its way from the standpoint of uh, championing causes for the, the people that they allegedly represent. Mm -hmm. And while you have individuals who still are able to recite uh, why they got involved or why they ran, right. uh, many of them have become an elected class where they've disassociated themselves from the constituency that they uh, were, you know, professed to uh, want right. to uh, represent. So if you said to me, well, what's the first and most important thing today that, that can be done? And I'm not talking about um, this could be symbolic more than anything else, mm -hmm. you know, because someone said, well, you do this immediately. Someone else rises to the to the top to become the next foil but mm -hmm. uh, I would have uh, I'd call a house caucus I would have uh, Pelosi resign I'd have Steny Hoyer resign mm -hmm. I'd have uh, go through that leadership team and see who has reached the end of their shelf life right and uh, not as human beings but as no. political leaders and ask them to step aside I would have a house caucus to elect the new leadership team I go over to the Senate and I would uh, do the same thing. Now, I don't think Schumer is as radioactive as Pelosi, right. but I, but my honest feeling is that Schumer was part of a leadership team going back with Harry Reid. Mm -hmm. That's that's got to be reexamined and go. In fact, I I take this back. I take this back to Dashiell. I take this back to Mitchell and Dashiell and hold them as responsible as I do Reid. Uh, I don't really? I don't have the same accountability. Uh, problem with Schumer because I think he kind of came in at this point, but okay. I really believe that we have leaders in the in the U.S. Senate who will uh, not be as volatile when it comes to people's reaction as to Schumer and the current leadership team. I'd have a re, you know, I'd, I'd have a put it this way: call a Senate caucus, let them talk it out, examine it, and then let them let them revote. Mm -hmm. and look at where we've been and make a decision because the way we've set up our caucuses is based strictly on seniority and heir parents. Right. And the fact of the matter is when you're not in power, seniority doesn't mean a darn thing. Right. Okay. It, it comes down to ideas, energy, and who's going to move this forward. So no one's entitled to anything. No one's entitled to, you know, who gets the first chair in the barber shop, who, who gets, you know, who gets the best parking spot and the best the best office. Right. Right. Let's re-examine how we're doing this.